Hi, it's Monty with Phoenix Tactical Solutions. Today we're going to talk about inside the waistband holsters and sweat guards and why I like high sweat guards more than mid-length sweat guards. So let's first of all talk about what a sweat guard is. This is the rear of the holster which rests against my body. This is the sweat guard that protects the slide, the top of that slide from perspiration, which obviously has salt in it and can corrode and rust metals. So this again is a high sweat guard and a mid, mid sweat guard would be right up to there. Basically that top portion of the slide is exposed to my sweat. And on days like this, where it's 100, 105 degrees, you're sweating a lot. And especially if I'm appendix carrying, I'm getting a lot of perspiration on that, uh, on that slide. As you can see here, I hope you can see it, these screws are, are rusting. They're all rusting. Now, yes, you may say, well, the screws don't have the finish that the slide on a Glock, for example, has. It's either, in the old days, it used to be Tenafer, now it's Melanite, which is uh, a, an amazing treatment that they apply to these things. Regardless of that treatment, I don't want that thing exposed to perspiration 8, 10, 12 hours a day. Uh, that's why I like to have this higher sweat guard. Now, the manufacturers of this holster, and I don't, I don't want to throw anyone under the bus, I don't want to come up with any names, but they now only offer this holster in the mid sweat guard. And their reasoning is that they want to streamline manufacturing and cut down on uh, ship, uh, shipping delays. Now, to me, that makes no sense. You don't sacrifice utility because of manufacturing, streamlining, and uh, uh, cutting down on you know, lead times for, for uh, holsters. You got to get the high sweat guard, in my opinion. Now, even with the high sweat guard, I still get some perspiration on the slide. Regardless, I have to be really diligent and constantly clean it and apply uh, you know, a light film of coat to it. But if your gun hygiene isn't that good, you may have problems. And it could seep into the internals through these openings, you know, where the slide meets the, the frame. You could get some you know, sweat in there. And over time, you know, it, it, it can't be good for the gun, let's put it that way. Now, some of you claim that you're faster with a mid sweat guard. I mean, that, that's, for me, it's, it's a non-issue. My best time with out of this holster um, concealed carry is uh, 0.63 seconds, one shot. Six three, six three. Now, if I can be 0.628, that's not going to change my decision as far as the sweat guards go. High sweat guard is the way to go in my humble opinion. Now, even on my magazine, just always constantly check your magazine, especially if you have steel magazines. I've had M&P magazines rust just from wearing it a couple times to the range and then putting them out without cleaning them. Clean them, make sure there's not too much perspiration in them. Check your rounds every so often because you know that moisture can uh, you know, affect your rounds too. Anyway, that's why I like high sweat guards. Thanks for watching. One, six, three. One six nine. Yeah, we'll see that. Bad drop. One nine eight. Miss. One six zero.